Unit Twelve: Making Merry with the Cranberry, November twenty-first. A juicy turkey, fluffy mashed potatoes, warm gravy, and a mixture of roasted vegetables appear every year on Thanksgiving Day. Although the dishes prepared in each household may vary, no other dressing can take the place of cranberry sauce on the Thanksgiving table. In fact, it's been widely accepted that cranberries were present at the very first Thanksgiving feast. It was then that the early settlers were introduced to the benefits of cranberries by Native Americans. Cranberries are one of very few fruits originating from North America. They grow widely in Massachusetts, Wisconsin, New Jersey, and in parts of Washington and Oregon from September through November. Cranberries were made popular by Native Americans, who discovered many practical uses for this fruit. Many tribes relied on cranberries as a source of food, medicine, and red dye. They used cranberries in a variety of dishes. One prized dish was called pemmican, similar to a modern-day energy bar. It was made by pounding cranberries, melted fat, and dried meat together. Native Americans also discovered the healing properties of cranberries. Using the fruit to draw out poison from wounds, reduce fevers, and kill germs, the rich red juice of cranberries was also used as fabric dye for rugs, blankets, and clothing. Today, cranberries are still being praised for their numerous health benefits. High in antioxidants and packed with vitamin C, cranberries have been crowned as a superfood. Researchers have found them to be especially effective in preventing urinary tract infections, as well as lowering the risk of cancer and heart disease. With all that this fruit has to offer, it's no wonder the cranberry is celebrated all year round.